Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakat Barash. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere Shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, unto the men, the servants, the prophets that are prophesying in this doctrine, in this truth throughout the four winds of the world, unto you. I say Shalom. Um, you err not knowing the scriptures, all right? And these guys right here, I don't know where they're from. I think, I believe they're from Atlanta, Karath, Israel. This is brought to um, my attention by the, the elder um, head of our camp. And I guess this was on the chat. And, you know, these brothers are out there, you know, teaching that God loves everyone. That's the title of their uh, their video right here. And that's the furthest thing from the truth. And they're dressed the part. They got the, you know, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai on their garments. They got the fringes and everything. But this this should be a lesson to you Israelites out there that do follow the men of Great Millstone. You can't listen to everyone because these guys are going off in the scriptures. Okay? They really don't know the scriptures. They know some precepts, but they don't understand them. That's the thing about having the breath. All right? You know, uh, um, the breath is the, the is the wisdom. All right, we, we were that we were that valley, uh, that, that that valley of dry bones. All right, we were dead. We were spiritually dead in this place, but the Lord revived us. Okay, with that, but everyone wasn't given the breath, and that breath is the wisdom. And these guys are man; they just butchering scriptures left and right. I could barely watch this. You know, they said John three sixteen is talking about um, God loves order. It, it, it's, 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 and we break that down for Christians that you know. The, the true meaning of the word cosmos, meaning world, means the world of Israel. All right. The God loves only Israel and the other nations. And there's so many scriptures. I'm going to get them. There's so many scriptures that I, I'm going to pull out that shows you there's a clear distinction between Israelites, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans and Israelites scattered throughout the four world, the, throughout the other nations, because that was a curse upon us. We were we, we were to be scattered. All right, so we wouldn't know who we were. That's how we would lose our heritage. But also, it, 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 it I don't know, man. These guys are just, they just, they just go up there and they just winging it. And, you know, um, elders and uh, uh, apostles have done lessons on this. I haven't watched them all, but these guys may be agents. It's going to be, it's going to be people out there that, that, that are going to look the part. They're going to know some scriptures. They're going to know the name Jehovah. And Yahweh Shai, but they're 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 those ravenous wolves, all right, not sparing the flock. These guys really don't care about the elect, because they, they um, because they will be telling our people the truth. They will be speaking the truth, but but they're they're coming from their own belly. Or they're coming from some doctrine, uh, uh, um, given to them or set up to them to to preach this, to push this um, this narrative of God loves everyone. That's what that's that's Christianity. It's just Christianity with a. Uh, Hebrew Israelite twist. All right, we know we're Israelites, but God loves everyone. That, that's off, man. So let me um, let me start with this real quick, man. Then I'm gonna get some scriptures. I don't want to make this too long. And like I said, the, these guys just going off. They could be set up, but in the last days they were living, and you're gonna have men that are set up like this, that looked apart, that 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 come and uh, uh um that 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 claim, you know, that that, that proclaim the name Jehovah. And Yahweh Shai, but really they they they're not they're not sincere. All right. They're just trying to put precepts together. And it's 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 bad, man. It, it's, it's really bad. You know, because it's clear I'm gonna get Micah one and uh a four to show you and they they say, Oh, God doesn't hate. Are you serious? All right, the most high, hey, his thoughts are not your thoughts. All right, these guys don't have the Holy Spirit. All right, this is uh first Corinthians eight and two. If any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing. Yet as he are, these guys think they're on a level. They think they're deep. These guys don't know anything, okay? And, and you can clearly see if you watch the if you watch the precepts that they're bringing out to support their 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 whacked out doctrine, you're gonna it's it's, just, it's crazy. It's easy to cut, okay? All right, let me play this. Um, well, Matthew twenty eight nineteen. He's gonna precept Matthew twenty eight nineteen. Which says, uh, "Go teach all the nations." I'll grab it real quick, just to show you how how, how these guys don't know the scriptures. Twenty eight and nineteen. I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let these guys read read it and and show you where these guys is going off, man. 
This is just one example. I couldn't even I couldn't even watch through this whole thing to uh, uh, pinpoint you know um, certain points in here, but I'll play it. Very much. I, I, yeah, I, I said it. I'll rewind that. Let me see what this. <laughs> For what nation is there so great? Who have Yahweh Shimei Osai so nigh unto them as the Lord Yahweh Shimei Osai? And a lot of these scriptures they bring it out, they cut themselves. That scripture that they read it in Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, that's clearly talking about Israel, who have the Most High so nigh unto them. So it shows you a distinction that if the Most High is nigh unto them, he's not nigh unto the, to the other nations. Okay? It's simple shit. I'll go back. Power is in all things that we call upon him for. And what nation is there so great that have statutes and judgments? So righteous as all this law, which I said before you this day. That's right. Uh, Matthew 28, 19. Yeah. Right, so we're going we to couple that one with Matthew 28, 19. Because the most I love everybody. Yeah, I said it. This guy's going off. He said the most I love everyone. Yeah, I said it. But these guys have no shame, man. They, 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 they don't. They, these guys truly don't fear Yahweh by Shimei Shai. All right, because every as the scripture says, every man should give account uh, in in the day. Um, how's it go? Um, for every 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 word that you shall speak. So if you're speaking a false doctrine, you're going to have to give account for that. Okay. And he says Matthew 28 and 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. He says, Go teach all nations, because Israel was scattered throughout all nations. Okay? That's simple. Or we're under the curses. So yes, it's going to be Israelites that look like Elamites, Israelites that look like Hamites, Israelites that look like uh, Moabites and Ammonites, Ishmaelites. It's going to be Israelites that look like Edomites. But go teach all nations, and the Lord is going to choose, and the Lord is going to choose who He's going to give the Spirit to quicken to to come up out of that, to 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 wake up to this truth. The Lord is going to give um give eyes to who who whom He's going to give eyes to. All right, here's this 60, uh, Deuteronomy uh, 28 and 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which thou nor thy father have known, even wood and stone. Okay, that, that's simple. That, that, that The Lord scattered us. Okay, it's, it's, not, it's not a mystery. And among these nations... Shall thou find no ease? That's the Israelites that are scattered, all right. And of course, the Israelites that 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 are you know have, are um, scattered uh, along with the Israelites that that weren't scattered that, that you know have, are amongst are, are amongst fellow um, Israelites you know in their in their respective captivities. Neither shall their soul or their foot have any rest, but the Lord but the Lord shall give thee a trembling heart and a, and a failing of failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. All right, so. Back to this, guys. God said, I'm going to just play a little bit more and then I'm going to hit some precepts to cut that whole God loves everybody uh, a doctrine, rhetoric, bullshit they're pushing out. Because he doesn't. All right? The Lord loves Israel. Okay? The heathen nations, they, they, well, I'm going to get the scripture. I'm, I'm going to show you how the Most High he feels about Edomites. How the Most High feels about the uh, the heathens. Oh, all right? He makes a clear distinction several times. Scripture saying too. <laughs> right. So we ain't making it up. Okay. It's Matthew. These folks, these supposed to be in the spirit and they and they waving the bitches passing by. You know, that shows you what this kind of type of spirit that, that these guys is in. They don't got the spirit of your high bash Shah. Even though they proclaim his name and say his name, they the most high really not dealing with these guys. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, so we're going to teaching all nations of our people. But we can, if, we, if we couple that with Michael 4 and 2, we're teaching all nations of our people. For what reason? Though? Why did 
Yahweh Shai say, make disciples of men. Like I said, I read I read the scripture, man. And they go to Micah. This is where I'm going to end this. I'm not, not end this lesson, but I'm going to end the, because uh, they don't understand the scriptures. All right. Micah 4 and 2. And, and many nations shall come and say, come, let us go to the mountain of the Lord in the house of the Most High of Jacob. And, and he will teach us his ways and we will walk in his paths for the law shall go forth of us go forth of Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. That's talking about the kingdom of heaven. Okay. And, and um, well, shit, it says it, Isaiah 2, Isaiah 2 and 2, where, where all the nations are going to come, okay, to the mountain of the Lord. The mountains represent governments, okay, and learn our ways, learn our law, statutes, commandments. It's talking about the kingdom of heaven, okay? It, I don't understand how they, how they butcher that, okay? But let me cut this whole... There's several scriptures, man. It's, it's so many scriptures that you could cut this. God loves everyone because he doesn't. All right. First one I'm going to go to is my, uh, Malachi uh, 1. Start at the top. In the burden of the word of the Lord of Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I love Jacob. As it's clear, that I love Jacob. This is the Lord speaking. And I hated Esau and laid his mountain and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. If the Lord loved them. Why the hell is he going to throw them down? Because he hates them. As the scripture says, the Lord is building Esau up. All right. To bring him down and they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people against the whom then the people whom the Lord have indignation forever. That is no love in there. All right. And this is just this is just the this these are the heathens. All right. The Lord don't love them. The Lord hates Esau. That's why he's that's why he's that's why he's doing this to Esau. All right. You know, air the this is all a part of the Yahweh Shemiah Shai's plan. The Lord uh 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 gave Esau the, the blessing. <laughs> he didn't even have to give him a blessing, but he gave him a blessing. Okay, in order to build him up, to give him his dominion, to give him his rulership, to bring him down. All right, to build his pride up, to think he is a god, to bring him down. That ain't love, that's hate. The Lord hates his devil, all right? But these guys, like I say, these guys are set up. They just teaching Christianity, uh, uh, Hebrew Israelites or whatever, all right? Um, yeah, I'm gonna get Romans, the Romans 9, chapter two. Let me grab this, um, Isaiah... What is it? 40. Um, damn, what is that scripture? Um, bear with me one second. Let me look up this scripture. Yeah, Isaiah 40 and 17 is what I have. Um, all the nations before him are as nothing, and they have continued. Actually, here it is. Here it is, 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a, a drop of a bucket and are counted as a small dust of the balance. Behold, he have taken up the isles as a very little thing. And in Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. That's the nations. That's the heathens. All right. So the Lord don't love them. The Lord don't love the heathens. What are these guys talking about? All right. These guys are putting Jake back in Christianity. All right. You know, with the Israel, with the Israelite twist, they, they, they just that's all they're doing. Like I said, these guys may be set up. They may just be bugged out. I'm not. I, I, I'm not sure. Okay, but these guys don't have the spirit of Yahweh Shai. That's all. That's all I really, you know, it really needs to be understood. This is um, and, and, and um, they basically say the same thing they said in um. Well, Apostle Paul says the same thing he says in uh, um, he's quoting uh, uh Malachi. Um, I'll start at verse nine. Excuse me. Yeah, verse nine, Romans nine, and uh, Romans nine, and I uh, start eleven. And uh, yeah, and the children being yet born, neither have done any good or evil, 
that the purpose of the Most High, according to election, might stand, not of works, but of uh, but of him that calleth. So it's about election, all right? The Lord e elected Israel. He chose Israel. He didn't choose all the nations, okay? He said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? The Most High forbid. So these, these jakes are pretty much saying it's unrighteousness with the Most High because God loves everyone. For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. He said, who, and who's, only, who's the only nation that was promised mercy? Israel. Okay. That was only promised salvation. Israel. All right. So then, it's not, so then it is not of him that willeth nor of him that runneth, but the Most High that showeth mercy. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose, I have raised thee up. All right. So it may seem like, oh, yeah, the Most High is dealing with Pharaoh because he raised him up. Right. He raised Pharaoh up to be this great ruler of this great army, this great empire. OK, but um, the second part of that is that I might show my power in thee to show his power. in thee. he didn't raise Pharaoh up because he loved him. And that that my name might be declared all throughout the earth. That, that's what these Jakes will understand. Let me grab this. And then I'm going to go back and finish reading that. Um, this is uh, Isaiah um, 55. Um, yeah, here it is. Isaiah 55 and 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways, either, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. As for the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts then your thoughts, all right, you, hey, you guys don't, you guys don't got the Holy Spirit, all right, because you're thinking like a carnal man on earth, all right, like an Edomite would think, yeah, God loves everyone because he wouldn't do this and he wouldn't do this, and no, the most, this is, this is the most high's plan, this is the most high's movie, so he could do whatever the hell he want, all right, but at the end of the day, he has a chosen line, he has a chosen people, and I'm gonna get some scriptures in the Apocrypha that's gonna cut all this shit up, all right, um, Verse 18, therefore he hath mercy on whom we have mercy, and he in whom he he will harden. Who's like you? Yeah. I'll read it again. Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he harden it. Will thou say unto me, Why do if ye why do if he yet find fault? For whom have res resisted his will? No one. Okay? The, hey, this is the most high's will, the most high. Uh, goings are um, goings are of the Lord. How can a man understand his own way? Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man understand his own way? Nay, but O oh man, who art thou that repliest against the Most High? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why, why hast thou made me thus? Have not the Potter power over the, over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and one unto dishonor? That's what the Most High did. That and and Esau eat him. All right, the adversary to the heavenly Father, the adversary to righteousness, is that that vessel made unto dishonor. All right, why these dumb niggas can't get that through your head? All right, what if the Most High, showing willing to show His wrath and to make His power known, endured with much long suffering and vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? And Esau, Edom, those those are those vessels of wrath fitted for destruction. And that he might make known the riches of his glory to the vessels of mercy. And the riches are this wisdom. Okay? This knowledge and this wisdom. That's the real, that's the true riches. Okay? And, the, and all the all the material shit will get in the kingdom. But the true riches right now is this wisdom. And, and you clearly see that he's not giving it to everyone. Even Israelites. All right? Even Israelites that that, that, that put the fringes on and, and, and have Yahweh and Yahweh shy across their chest. He's not giving those riches. These, these, these secrets are only given to the really the service of prophets. Okay, let me grab that. Um, Amos, uh, the third chapter. That's what you got to, when you got to realize this, this, this truth that you got, you can't fuck with it, man. You cannot take this for granted. You can't just play around with this truth and just go out there and think you're going to wing it. And you, you're going to have to be accountable. Uh, you're going to have to uh, 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 take account in the day of judgment for the words that you speak. And especially if you're not speaking, you're speaking the wrong thing, you're going to get judged for that. Lest you repent. Lest the Lord opens your eyes to the true doctrine that he wants pushed throughout the world, throughout the world to wake up his elect. This is Amos three and seven. Surely the Lord will do nothing, but but not will do nothing, but He revealeth His secret unto this to, unto His servants, the prophets. All right. So 
Only the servants of prophets are getting these true deep secrets, all right? Only the servants of prophets can understand that the Lord does not love everyone, all right? I don't know, man, and they got the nerve to title, entitle their video that. Um, let me see, uh... <laughs> Let me grab let me grab a few precepts and um the apocrypha because uh let me see. Of course I'm gonna get second Ezra's uh sixth chapter. Um yeah, fifty uh let me see. Uh, fifty four. And after these, Adam, also whom thou madest Lord of all creatures, of him come we all, and the people whom also whom the Lord has chosen. So that's showing you a clear distinction right there. We come all come from Adam, okay? And the people whom the, thou has chosen. And if this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou has made the world for our sakes. The Lord made the world, all right, for the Israelites' sake. All right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. The, the, Lord, the world was made for our sake. Okay, everything that you've seen, it was made for us. All right. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, the heathens, the sons of men, the sons, the sons of uh, the wicked. All right, those are the heathens. Those are the other people. Thou hast said that they are nothing but like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. That's how low the heathens are in the eyes of the Lord, all right? A, a spittle, if someone was talking and this spit came out their mouth, okay, or, or, or a small drop that fell out of a, a, a bucket of water, that's how the Lord equates uh, uh, the heathens, what, what the Lord equates the heathens to. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathens, which have been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. But we, the people whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. All right, why is that? Why did that happen? Why were we given into the hands of the heathen? Why were we, uh, uh, um, you know, we, we were called the firstborn. We were the first, be only begotten, the fervent lover of the heavenly Father. Well, why are these heathens ruling over us? Deuteronomy twenty-eight. Deuteronomy twenty-eight. And I will start at, I'll read one and then I'm going to jump to 15. And it shall come to pass that thou shalt hearken dil diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, the Lord, th this day, the Lord thy power will set thee high above all nations of the earth. All right. So we had to follow his law, statutes, and commandments to the best, you know, we had to follow the law, statutes, and commandments, but we were we were we were we we were in this flesh, so it was impossible for us to follow him. The Lord knew this. The Lord set all this up, okay. But now in these days, we're supposed to follow him. Us waking up to our this knowledge and this wisdom, we're supposed to follow him to the best of our ability. All right, jump down to verse fifteen. But if it but it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power to do, to observe and to do all these commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee and the heathens ruling over us was one of those curses all right i read 58 again but we thy people and thy people thy people being possessive okay we're the lord's people but we thy people whom thou hast called thy firstborn the only begotten and thy fervent lover are given into their hands and the world if if the world now be made for our sakes why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? All right, that prophet Ezra was asking, how long is this going to take place? These these you, these heathens are nothing, but they're ruling over us. Okay. Um, Sirach, Sirach seventeen, seventeen. Um, for in the division of the nations of the whole earth. He set ruler over every people, but Israel is the Lord's portion. All right, that's 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 plain. Israel is the Lord's portion. Jacob, all right, whom being his firstborn, he nourished with discipline and giving him the light of his love, doeth not forsake him. And that light is that is is his truth, is his knowledge. All right, he nourished him with discipline. The discipline is the is the law. Okay. 
And then law, and these, like I said, these Jakes cut themselves. This law, they read Deuteronomy the fourth chapter in the sixth verse. That that was only given to Israel. Okay, who did, who, who was Moses talking to? Was he talking to heathens? For what nation is there so great, O oh seven, with, that the Most High, who have the Most High so nigh unto them, as the Lord our power in all things that we call upon Him for? This is this is not talking about the heat, no other no other nation but Israel. Okay. Let me grab this. Let me go back to Sirach. Sirach 33. And um, let's see. I'll start at 10. And all men are from the ground, and Adam was created from the earth. In much knowledge the Lord hath divided them and made their ways diverse. Some have he blessed and exalted. Some have he sanctified and set near himself. But some of them have he cursed and brought low and turned out and turned out of their place. So it's showing you a clear distinction between uh, uh, different classes of people. Okay, he exalted some of them and sanctified and set near himself. That's speaking of Israel. But some have he cursed and brought low. That's Esau, the other nations, and turned out of their places. As the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it to his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as liketh best. Good is set against evil, life against death. So is the godly against the sinner. And who's the godly? All right. That, that shouldn't, if you in this truth, that you shouldn't be, that shouldn't be a, a mystery who the godly is. Okay. Even though, you know, we're not acting like a godly people right now, you know, two thirds of us, but that's talking about Israel against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. All right, so the most high is about uh, balance, okay? Loving everyone is not about, is not balanced, okay? So look look upon all the works of the most high and they are two and two, one against another, all right? And that, that's clearly a distinction. Um, damn, I had one more scripture I wanted to get. Um, there was one second. Yeah, here it is. Um, here it is, here it is. Um, here it is. Um, well, I'll start at uh, 2 Ezra chapter 5 and verse 22. My soul recovered the spirit of understanding. I began to talk with the Most High again. This is the prophet Ezra. He had to take a break because he was getting hit with all these prophecies. Shit was heavy on him. And said, O Lord, thou bearest rule of every wood of the earth and all the trees thereof. And the trees are the trees represent nations. Okay. Um, you can you can precept that with uh Genesis, uh, what is it, the second chapter where they said Adam and Eve tried to hide amongst the nations, okay, not not thinking they could hide from the Most High, but they tried to hide amongst, the. excuse me, it said hide amongst the, the trees, and, and, and that is um, a metaphor for, for nations, the trees, all right, so I'll start again, and it said, o, o Lord, thou bearest rule to every wood of the earth and all of the trees thereof thou hast chosen the only one vine and of all the lands of the whole world thou hast chosen thee one pit and all the flowers therefore one lily and these are all showing you that all the plants all the trees all the lands the lord chose one all right and all the nations the lord only chose one people in all the depths of the sea thou hast filled the one river and all in all of the builded cities thou hast hollowed meaning holy meaning separate Zion unto thyself, all right? Of, and of all the fowls thou hast created, thou hast named thee one dove, and all of thy cattle thou are, that are made thou hast 
provided thee one sheep. And among all the multitudes of people, thou hast gotten thee one people. And unto this people that whom thou lovest, that's 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 praying. I should have just read that, and that would have been the end of the lesson. Unto this people whom thou lovest, thou gavest a law that is approved of all. All right. So I don't want to go too long, but you know, I just had to make a response to this video. And, and you Israelites out there, that you sincere Israelites that that believe on your how and your how shine, you better watch who you. Stop jumping from camp to camp. You better watch who you listen to. All right, watch the doc, watch the doctrine, because a lot of these guys that are coming up, you know, they they they're coming up in this truth for the wrong reasons. They're not truly, sincerely sparing the flock. They don't care about the elect. All right, they care about bigging up themselves. They care about uh, uh, um, deepening their pockets and and, and and filthy lucre and you know all this worldly shit. All right, and they really don't fear the heavenly Father. All right, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. And I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Hawakakodash. Until next time, I say Shalom.